So here's some mixed practice. We're going to scramble them up and just try and go from formula to name, and then we'll do some practice where we go from name to formula. All right, so pause the video and see if you can name this one. All right, what do we have here? We have a metal with chlorines. This metal is manganese. Manganese is not in the first or second column, so we're going to need a Roman numeral. And so this is manganese 2 chloride. Next one, FCl3. Pause and try it yourself. All right, fluorine and chlorine, these are both nonmetals. And so now we use the covalent system of naming, so we just need our Greek prefixes. One fluorine, three chlorines, this would be monofluorine trichloride. And again, the mono's in parentheses because you would probably just leave it off. Next example. Here we've got two sodiums with, you should recognize this as the carbonate ion. Sodium is in the first column, so you don't need a Roman numeral. We know that it's plus one. And so it's just sodium carbonate. Kind of interesting that this 2 isn't mentioned in the formula, but it's implied by knowing that sodium's plus 1 and carbonate's 2 minus. So you know you need two sodiums to go with the one carbonate. Two sodiums with the one carbonate. Next example. HF as a gas. This is treated as a nonmetal with a nonmetal, so this whole thing is covalent. So this is just monohydrogen, monofluoride, or just hydrogen fluoride. HF as an aqueous for our next example. Here now, this is a binary compound, acid. So we need hydroblankic acid. In this case, the blank is fluor, hydrofluoric acid. Next example, H3PO4. This is a ternary acid. You notice the polyatomic ion here that hopefully you have memorized is phosphate. Eight becomes ic, and this is phosphoric acid. All right, next example here again, we have the phosphate ion. And we have a metal with it, so this is a metal uh, salt with a polyatomic ion, a ternary salt. Iron is not in the first or second column, so we need to specify its charge. Because we know that phosphate is 3 minus, this must be iron 3 plus because I have one of each. And so this is iron 3 phosphate. One more example going from formula to name. Here I've got a hydrated compound. So this is going to end in hexahydrate, whatever it is. But I have to name this. This is a tricky one. Okay, here I've got three sulfates. Each sulfate I know is two minus. So the total on the negative part of my molecule is six minus. I have to then have 6 plus on the total positive part. 6 plus divided over 2 cobalts, so it'll be 3 plus each. So this must be cobalt 3. And indeed, it's cobalt 3. Oops, that should be sulfate hexahydrate. That's an error in the presentation. I'll have to fix that later, but cobalt 3 sulfate hexahydrate. All right, let's do some the other way. Nitrous acid. Okay, you know that the us must come from the ite, so you need the nitrite with hydrogens. Nitrite is NO2 minus, so you need one hydrogen with the NO2 minus to make HNO2. Dinitrogen pentoxide. You can see we've got the Greek prefixes there, so it must be that this is a covalent compound. Di is two nitrogens, pent is five oxygens, so N2O5. Calcium chloride. 
Calcium's your metal. It's in the second column. It's got a 2 plus. Chlorine, as a halogen, has just a minus 1, so I'm going to need two of those. CaCl2. Calcium chlorite. Notice here it's only one letter difference, but it's a different molecule. The ite comes from the chlorite ion. So, what is the chloride ion? ClO2. ClO2, it's a minus, and so you'll need two of those minuses to balance out the 2 plus on the calcium. So there's your calcium chloride. Hydrobromic acid. This is a hydroblanchic acid. The brome comes from bromine. Bromine has a minus one. So I just need one of each, a H plus and a Br minus. And I specifically put here aqueous to show that it's an acid, not a covalent compound. It's an acid because it's aqueous, it's dissolved in water. Sodium sulfite. Of course, to name this, you need to know what a sulfite is. Sulfite is SO3 with a 2 minus. So I'm going to need two of my Na pluses to balance out the 2 minus. Na2, SO3. Last one, titanium 3 carbonate. All right, I know titanium's Ti with the 3. This must be Ti3 plus. Carbonate, I know just because I've memorized it, is CO3 2 minus. So if I've got a 2 minus with a 3 plus, to get them equal, you kind of have to think about least common multiplier. So 3 plus times 2 would be plus 6. So I'll need 2 titaniums. 2 minus times 3 would be 6 minus. So I'll need 3 carbonates. So it's Ti2, CO3, 3. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Nomenclature rules. Adios.